Although he rarely weighed more than 185 pounds, Conrad Tuka often fought much bigger men during a pro career that lasted from 1974 to 1979. In Tuka's only overseas bout, he traveled to England in February 1979 to take on the late Paul Sykes, 5-1-1, a career criminal who was billed as Britain's hardest prisoner. Sykes had been the subject of numerous documentaries and extensive media coverage in his native country. Tuka lost the decision that he steadfastly believes he won despite long odds. He arrived in England alone and says he was picked up at the airport by an inquisitive cab driver who pestered him about his strategy for the fight. He said he later learned the cab driver was British boxing notable Mickey Duff, who was heavily involved in the promotion. Tuker, who was in England for a few days, said he was not provided with a training facility and two prostitutes were sent to his room on the eve of the bout to tire him out. Moreover, Tuka's corner man, Chicky Ferrara, did not arrive in England until the day of the fight. He also said the sole arbiter of the bout was the referee, who had a clear bias towards Sykes. I had no idea about his reputation, but he was supposed to be the toughest man in prison, said Tuka. I went toe-to-toe with him, and there's no way I lost the fight. When he was announced as the winner, the crowd booed and gave me a standing ovation. The headline the next day said, Sykes, Booting Glory. 